Hi there, it's Janice Thompson from jazzledazzlecraft.co.uk. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I live and work in Scotland. And today it's time for the November Team Jazzle Dazzle video hop. And our theme this month is Fancy Fold. So, I come on to do a Fancy Fold. <laughs> so this is one that I have done myself. Now this one is in centimetres for the European market. Um, however, there are lots of um, tutorials out there that give you the inches um, for this. So this piece of card is from an A4, a European A4 card stock. And it's just cut down the, the long side. side. <laughs> Or, or along the short side at 15 centimetres down the full length of the card. And then I've already done the scoring as I did the previous time I did this. So you're scoring at this. I worked this out. It took me quite a bit of working out. I did this first with the Boho Indigo uh, medley last year. So basically what you're doing here is you are scoring at... That's the wrong way round. <laughs> the scores happen this way round. So it's 10, 10.5. And I've put that score in. Let's open the arm out just so that you can see that you can fit this in. Now this works out and it folds so neatly. Um, and then 18 centimetres. So that's my second score. And then my third score is at 25 0.5 centimeters. So I'll just hold that flat so that you can see you do that score at 25.5 and this is flat. It's easier to do and then just make that score and then you're actually turning it round so that this is the back, well not the back of the card but the the inside normally what would be the inside piece so then you, so that's a valley fold, a mountain fold and then a valley fold like that. I'm just going to check that you can see that all right, yeah. And then you just push them together and you get a really nice evenly spaced triple fold card. Ah, I've lost my bone folder. So I am using Peaceful Place designer series paper here along with great tidying stamp set so prepare to be surprised <laughs> this will either work or it will be bonkers now i have worked out the panels and the layers for this card so you um sorry not you i will put i will do a blog on this and all the measurements will be on jazzledazzlecraft.co.uk if you want to and what I will do is I'll try and find a link to uh, one of our American demonstrators who do this fold in inches there's really no point in me reinventing the wheel in inches when I've done it in centimetres when someone else has done it in inches um, so we'll have a look so again, just going to do up the layers and pop them on. So this one is for the front panel. Now when I cut the designer series paper, I cut it in one strip so that the pieces should look like they go together. But obviously this front one, is this is off the same strip. So I've got all the strips that I need of the designer series paper from one strip. So this one is going on the front panel. And then I have put these in order of the strips so that I don't get them muddled up. So that's why I'm just doing them individually. Because if I start doing them separately, I'll uh, mix them up. So I am. Um, just 
Now I have done this amount of prep so that the video isn't too long but there are just a few of us in this hop so it's not just so essential that my video is too short so we'll not get too uptight about time but do go into my description box below you will find the link to my blog further down there but at the top you will find the links to my other team members who are taking part this month I'm not sure just who's going to be able to take part this month because well like everybody else at this time of year people are busy it just seems to have got busier and busier so um, all my team members that do do videos do do their very best to take part but the best will in the world sometimes family matters have to come first and let's face it everybody's dealing with different things just now so I know that one other team member has said she has managed to uh, film something so there will be at least two of us hopefully more And then this one. Maybe not as straight as I could be on the other panel, but so just take your time and try to get it straight. I was rushing too much here. I kind of think the wee card. I'm thinking of a wee card with a surprise element. I haven't made a prototype. I've just, I just did the scoring and the panel cutting just to, in advance, just to make sure that I, I love this designer series paper. But it's got lovely silver foiling on it. It's just a delightful card, and I've teamed it up with basic grey and smoky slate just to keep with that theme. So this video will be filmed in bits. Because I'm not quite sure what I'm doing at, to finish it off. But I just will do each part. So that's it there. But what I probably will do is put do a belly band. It's quite a heavy wee card because of all the panels. But then I thought, let's put some surprise elements in here. So what I've done is I've stamped... The three wise men, enough, or the three kings, whatever you you know, whatever, however you view them, um, and I've coloured them in with my blends, and I fussy cut them out ready. So I'm just going to pop these in. Now these guys, obviously, I I think we all see the story as they came through the desert or somewhere, and those that's usually in most of the pictures you see. But I've just decided, do you know what is my story? It is a story. No, I've, no, I've no doubt these guys, you know, there is some truth in it. Um, what are they, Magi, wise men? So I'm just popping them here. So it's my illustration of the story. But in this one, they're seeking the baby Jesus in the snowy woods. And who knows? They might have had to come through. We don't know how far they had to come to get to Bethlehem. So, you know, they may have gone through some cold lands to get there. I'm just going to pop that there so that when I close the card you don't actually see them so they're a huge, huge surprise. It was a surprise to me when I came up with the idea but you know, 
So then I need to have, I want to put some kind of message in here as well and I want to make a belly band I think to keep the card closed when it's being sent but I, just, I think it might just make a nice wee picture there <laughs> I'm easily amused but I like it so I'll stop the video and I'll plan out the belly band and I think I need to put a message here as well I think so one of the sentiments and another sentiment will go on the belly band. So yeah, thank you. I'll be back in a wee while with the next part. Okay, I'm ready to go again. Sorry if it is jumpy video, but um, just I didn't want to use up the time with me thinking. So what I've done is I've cut a strip and it is the bit that I cut off the piece top of this designer series paper. Um, when I was cutting the length of that. So um, I've cut that to three centimetres and this to 3.4 centimetres. This is a full length of A4 sheet. So I'm just going to glue this down and then I'm going to make a belly band for the card. So because I'm going to bend the two together, probably should do it one at a time, but I'm not, I'm doing it all. Right, of course, if this goes wrong, I'll stop the video and redo this bit. <laughs> Deny all knowledge. <laughs> anyway, I'm aware that the um, cardstock isn't 12 inches long and the paper is, but we'll trim that all off in a minute. So just gonna pop these. I won't need the full length of it anyway, but I'm just doing that and I've got a little bit of extra glue I don't know where put them. Oh. I have things handy and then they disappear when I need them I've right, just got a bit of a microfiber cloth there to take that off right so what I want to do now is make a belly band that will then hold the, the card closed you see I won't need all of that but if I put that, sometimes it's good to try and be straight, but that's not my forte, but never mind, we'll try. Right, so if we pop that there and fold that over, it's not one of these things where you can score an actual, an accurate measurement because the, th the card has different thicknesses on each side. So... That looks quite nice and that that all goes together so then my snips and cut this so there's a wee bit of an overlap there so just cut that bit off and then what I want to do now is just glue this so I'm going to do that that way because that's a bit straighter so just need a bit of wet glue now it's good just to glue this down while it's on the card that way you know you get it nice and firm but it will still fit so that will keep it shut now I think sometimes what I do see if it will flip both ways it probably won't actually thinking that if I bring this to the front because I'm going to be putting a sentiment on here but I actually also wondered about tying some of this absolutely delicious um, silver mesh metallic mesh ribbon I just adore this so I'm going to cut a bit of this Probably overkill, but you know what? Does it really matter? Does it? It's Christmas, so we can glitz up. Probably got too much here, but that's okay. So I'm just going to pop that there, tie a bow here. leave it at that then I'm going to make a sentiment which I'm then going to stick on here now I have a 
I don't know if it is, I'm able to do that. I have a scrap of the black glitter paper. And I think I can just about squeeze that oval out of it. Yay! And I have a scrap of smoky slate. Whoops. Get myself in a mess here. And I'm going to stamp good tidings of great joy with I've used in my memento. There's my steps. And my punch, so I've got my double oval punch, but again I'm just using I'm using the perforated one. Because if you see that's oh no, it would fit. Let's just go for that then. It does fit and no more. I didn't think it would, but it does, so let's just I don't have to faff about now, right? So I can pop this on here. I really am making this up as I go along here, but I did kind of have an idea of what I wanted to do. But when you do it this way, you don't always know it's going to work out. And then I'm going to stick this over the joint. So I'm actually just going to use glue. I'm using a fair bit because it's got to stick through the ribbon as well. I'm spreading it out to the side. So it just adds a wee bit of special sparkle for Christmas. And that hides that join quite nicely. I'm just going to hold it down a moment or two just till it grabs. And then you'll see that there's no join on the back to see. So that's quite clever. Let's just bring this in a wee bit more. Still like a big bouncy flouncy. Well, the thing is, I'm going to. Well, I don't need. To, I won't need to open it again. I was going to say I need to open it, but I don't because it will slide off with the belly band. Now, with the black glitter paper, I did stick cut out. I die cut one of the. Oh, let me make sure I can, you can see what I'm doing here. I keep moving this when I'm working. Right. So, um, yeah, I've cut out one of the dies from the Stitch Stars die set. This is the most fabulous die set. Now I don't think this will carry over once the annual catalogue goes in June. It might, but I have a feeling it might go this year. It's absolutely brilliant for all your Christmas stuffs. Absolutely brilliant. But I just wanted one star just now in this project. So let's just take this away. Just try and get that to stick and I thought I would just pop a star up here it's I mean it's it's oversized but it's important so the stars an important part of the nativity And I did it in the black sparkle paper because I felt that it um, just blends in with the colours of these trees. But it just adds a bit of sparkle and a bit of bling here. So that's, that's our card. And of course you can write on the back of it. But I think that just provides a card with a real nice surprise inside, isn't it? 
mean, you could add more sentiment. You could, there is, do you know, there are other lovely sentiments in this set. We could put wise men will seek him, glory to God in the highest, or seeking peace, sending peace and joy to you. But I'm just going to keep it simple. We've got a sentiment on the front. And as I say, you can, I'll pop a white panel on the back and this, then I can write what I want on it. Let's just pop this back on. So there you go, a card with a huge surprise when you get inside. I think anyway. So thanks very much. Um, I think I've got a bit of glue there. So I, in fact, it's a bit of ink. So let's just put something sparkly there to hide that. Because it's Christmas. What have we got? What do I have that will blend in with this? Give me a moment. I'll find something. Actually thinking of doing something a bit bonkers. And where is my? There it is. My take your pick tool. I just sharpened a pencil and nearly stabbed myself with it. I'm actually going to put a pop of red on here. To my grid pad. Just because I can, and just think that just that kind of gives you a wee hint of what you might find inside. So I did use. I'll take this off again. Just let's see what you think. So you receive this card. I think oh yeah, very nice. Slip the belly band off. Open up for a colourful surprise and I have used quite a lot of colours of blends to do them I'll just put them out but and let you have a look so. there's Highland Heather, Poppy Parade that'll go in something else ha a Shaded spruce, the bronze one, um, dark polish, uh, polished pink, and daffodil yellow all involved in the colours. Right, nice bright colours. And yeah, that's it. So pop that back together. And there you have it. Thank you so much for watching the video today. Please subscribe, please press the bell icon to know when I'm coming back on and also please go in and check out the other videos in this hop. Thank you so much.